Hello, we'd like to present a new contemporary news corpus of Ukrainian, CNCUA, a corpus of Ukrainian news articles published on the news website of the National Public Broadcaster of Ukraine, commonly known as Suspilne. While Ukrainian can still be considered a low resource language, a number of research teams are currently working on the automated and manual creation and annotation of different Ukrainian language corpora. We can see a list of Ukrainian corpora on the slide, and this overview is not complete. The number of Ukrainian corpora is steadily increasing. Many of the corpora are available online. Some aspects still require additional data and further enhancements. Currently, there is a need for data from contemporary sources such as news, which reflect the ongoing processes in the society and the current linguistic developments. Due to the current situation in Ukraine, it is important to engage in the preservation and archival of news texts in a non-proprietary way for social, political, and linguistic documentation, as well as subsequent scientific analysis. This is what motivated the creation of the CNCUA, which provides news from a single media platform. The first publicly available release of the CNCUA covers three full years, namely from the end of 2019 until 2022. It contains 87,210,364 tokens in 292,955 texts. The CNCUA is licensed under a Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial No Derives 4.0 International License, while the underlying raw data are subject to the copyright of Suspilne Movlenia. Considering the current context, the creation of the CNCUA is timely. Firstly, the CNCUA was established in 2023 and covers news data from November 2019 to December 22 with the potential of expansion. This period covers two significant events, not only in Ukraine, but also in Europe and the world, the coronavirus epidemic and Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Secondly, the CNCUA is based on news text of Suspilne. This media platform presents international, national, and regional news on a wide range of topics, such as world, culture, sports, economy, politics, nature, etc. So Spilne is one of the few independent media companies in Ukraine, which, in contrast to predominantly private media platforms, has had its unique role as a state-owned and authoritative representative of Ukrainian media. The corpus can be used for training and fine-tuning models for the Ukrainian language, as well as social, political, historical, and linguistic studies. The corpus comprises news texts from 38 months. During that period, publication activity has increased steadily, as can be seen in the figure on the left. The news texts in CNCUA are relatively short. The average text comprises 298 words, as can be seen in the histogram on the right. The corpus is based on raw data in SQL format received from Suspilne in December 2022, which forms the basis of its news website. The contents of other media channels such as Facebook, Telegram, YouTube that also belong to Suspilne are not represented in this corpus. The CNCUA is based on official data from a single source and not based on web scraping. At the initial stage, it was established that the received data contains the following per text information ID, title, body, timestamp. The CNCUA was then enriched with the following information for each text hour, month, weekday, year, year, month. Linguistic annotations were then added using the Stanza NLP tools, whose Ukrainian models was trained on data from the Universal Dependencies Project. Currently, tokens are annotated with the following linguistic information, which is provided by the Stanza NLP tools. Word form, lemma, part of speech tags, universal and language specific, morphological features, animacy, case, gender, number, and dependency information, head and relation type. The language specific part of speech tags are based on the Maltext East Morphosyntactic Specifications version 4. Interestingly, a small number of 34 English texts was identified with the fast text library. The raw texts were not labeled with topics, although the website of Suspilne uses an extensive tagging system for topics, for example, crimes of Russian Federation, corruption, weapons, Crimea, Ukraine EU, Ukraine and NATO, as well as categories, politics, economics, world, regions, people, technologies, nature, culture, sports. For additional metadata, a topic model of eight topics, administration, crime, culture, everyday, health, international, sports and war, was trained on the lemmatized text with the Malay toolkit. 
the development of the eight topics over time can be seen on this slide. If we look at the distribution of dominant topics diachronically, one can see at least two trends. The prominence of the health topic, which could also be called corona, aligns with the timeline of the COVID-19 pandemic. Later, one can see that the word topic is assigned to most articles. This is one of the examples of analysis that we have worked on. The patterns from the topic models can also be tracked by looking at specific keywords. For example, by looking at several keywords related to COVID-19, the course of the pandemic can be tracked in more detail. While articles in the early phase were about the virus, masks, and quarantine, articles in the second half frequently discussed vaccinations. The CNCUA is designed and built according to the FAIR data principles and can be accessed from a research data repository specializing in linguistic corpora. It is hosted at the Claren G Repository at Zarland University. The corpus is findable by a persistent and globally unique identifier. The CNCUA is described by rich CMDI metadata with a link to the landing page of the corpus. The metadata are indexed and searchable by the Claren Virtual Language Observatory. We provide files in several common formats. Besides, there is an option for exploring the corpus through a web-based corpus analysis platform. The CNCUA can be downloaded in two tabs separated formats, Connell U and VRT. The Connell U format contains all linguistic annotations provided by the Stanza NLP tools. In particular, it allows one to work with dependency trees. We also provide the corpus in the vertical text format, which is of interest to linguists as it allows them to encode the corpus on their own CWB or CQP web servers. For users who do not need their own installation, we also provide a CQP web server. Lastly, the metadata is available in tabular format. In order to explore the linguistic similarities and differences of the corpus data within different time periods and topics, we can use the CQP web interface. Using queries for concordances, distributional data, frequency lists, and collocations enables us to identify not only the variations in the linguistic context, but also the various textual patterns within the existing corpus. In our paper, we have demonstrated an example of using the CNCUA with the CQP web interface, which allows to extract the quantitative data necessary for distributional and collocation analysis. The current size of the CNCUA and the results of our first analysis are already promising. However, we acknowledge that the corpus in its current first release has certain limitations, which need to be taken into account and addressed in future work. In comparison to many other corpora, the corpus is not balanced, which is by design. First of all, the time span and the size of the CNCUA could be expanded. The current version contains the materials officially received from Suspilne in 2022 as the initial stage of our cooperation. The data set goes up to 2022, encompassing a total number of 38 months, which is quite substantial for a news corpus based on a single source. Nevertheless, adding more recent data from 2023 and later on to the CNCUA will significantly increase its value and provide the most up-to-date news data set for contemporary linguistic analysis and interdisciplinary studies. In contrast to the smaller manually annotated corpora, the processing of CNCUA depends on the availability of external NLP tools for Ukrainian. While the performance of the Stanza pipeline was evaluated on universal dependencies tree banks, an additional evaluation on the corpus is worthwhile. During our work with the corpus, no major problems were found. However, the limitization of non-Ukrainian proper names left room for improvement in some cases. Also, more data of the text level would be desirable. Lastly, our preliminary experiments using the CNCUA have raised the issues that the text contain links to related articles. As a result, the titles of articles are repeated throughout the corpus, which occasionally falsely raises the number of word occurrences and the distribution of search hits. This issue, boilerplate detection, may require additional cleaning or filtering of the data set and should be addressed in our future work to increase the accuracy of results. Therefore, CNCUA is a new corpus of modern Ukrainian news text from Suspilne, covering the period from 2019 to 2022 in the first publicly available release. The corpus is built with data received directly from the publisher and does not involve web scraping. The current release of the CNCUA is available under a Creative Commons license. It is open and available for download in several common formats. 
As the CNC UA contains news text documenting recent events, it is highly relevant for linguistic analysis, as well as social, political, cultural, and interdisciplinary research. Thank you very much for your attention. And if you have any additional questions, please get in touch.